I thought it was appropriate. bite squad I hadn't had anything to eat it's kind of late to be eating but I wasn't hungry earlier in today so um earlier it to, that's down hold on. they were right on time I have my bite squad bag kind of wrinkled for a thumbnail but you know maybe we'll use it and um doesn't look like much in here and the box half open this is the burger. It's already open. I guess because they couldn't get it all in there. We got onion rings. Extra chipotle ranch for the onion rings. And they put mayonnaise and all that in there. So I'm going to get everything set up and I will be right back with you. Okay guys, so I'm going to get set up. I said I was getting set up and then I say, well, you can just set up on camera. So these are the, um, I ordered from Grill Marks here in Greenville, South Carolina. They sell burgers and their onion rings are really good. And this is the, um, got the exact name of this burger but I think it said French it was French something it has the caramelized onions on it lettuce tomato I don't oh I can see lettuce at the bottom boy that tomato is awfully little isn't it we'll see how it tastes so I'll do my thumbnail Today, before my food starts to get cold, I'm going to go ahead and say this real quick. I don't know how this is going to work. I haven't, I did record my um, American Horror Story Part 2, and I'll post that maybe if anybody wants to see it. But it was a lot, it was kind of wordy. I don't know. Just sitting there talking about it. So what I thought I'd do this week is I'm going to eat my food and I'm going to try to watch Slash Dance because I, oh, you didn't see part two yet. So I'll try to upload that for those who want to know. Um, I was about to stop watching American Horror Story and they put a little twist in there. So I'm going, I may not even post two because if you're an American Horror Story fan, you probably just not listening to me talk about it. You're probably watching it too. But I'm going to watch three, and I'm, I know I am rambling, so let's get started. And for the onion rings, they give you a chip. uh oh, I'm wasting it, a Chipotle ranch. And it is really good. Okay, why are you not playing for me? Okay, here we go. The program is rated TV and ALV. It contains strong language, violence, and nudity. It is intended only for mature audiences. Okay, so they in the cabin. They were trying to get the keys to the van to try to get out of there. But Mr. Jingles, or well, who we think is Mr. Jingles, is at the door. I'm thinking it's Mr. Jingles because last week it left off with him talking to the owner of the Camp Margaret booth. But it's not Mr. Jingles. It's Richard Ramirez trying to get into the um, into the um, cabin with them. Now that's a twist. Mm. The nurse putting her head out, They're right in the window, for him to knock her head off. The burger pretty decent. So I didn't know who he was. So Brooke said, "That's the guy I've been telling y'all trying to kill me." Yeah. 
there are after all of us. And if we split up and make a run for it, the best he can do is just give up. It's Darwin, man. Bro, all of them about themselves. He said if they split up, the best he can get is one instead of them trying to stay together. I thought she was going to be dead. <laughs> so he topped all that junk and he went right, he tried to go right out the door of Richard Ramirez who was knocking down. Oh, he's flashing now. Oh, and since he talked all that junk, everybody left him since he was the one wanting to leave everybody. But the Olympic uh, guy, the guy that was supposed to be in the Olympics, but he failed the drug test, he came back for him. That wasn't that nice. Okay. So last week when it ended, Everybody has, now Margaret Booth, the owner, was the only one not there. It was the five uh, kids, the counselors, the nurse, and the activities director. They split up four and three to go two different cabins to get um, the keys to two different cars since they all couldn't fit in one. Why, I don't know, because one of them is a van, but you know it's a movie, so they have to make it the best they can make it. And so... When it left off, Richard Ramirez was in B Margaret Booth's cabin talking to her. So that's why I didn't think when they showed the rattling that it was him because it was just like immediately after that. But it was him. So now we never did see the other cabin. The other three went to. And so they are uh, showing that now. And it's Mr. Jingles at their cabin, honey. just walked up for real. They joking and stuff. And he done killed both of them. No, he killed one of them. Oh, wow. People always want to play with them. Both of them dead. The other three just counselors got away. And he took their ears. I don't know. I have my water. Of course. Just drinking a Pinot Grigio today. And I think this one is actually just from Costco. Let's go forward. Oh, they don't have four activated. Okay, we should be at the Guys, I don't know the commercial is still on right now, but I don't know the trend that everything has to be sweet. Now, the onion rings are delicious because they make them fresh, so they are delicious, especially with that Chipotle ranch. But this burger is decent, 
But why does everything have to have a sweet tinge to it? It's supposed to be cheese, onion, caramelized onions, which just have a tinge of sweetness. I've had plenty of caramelized, caramelized onions, lettuce, and tomato. But they just seem like everything must be the stuff in here. I mean, that just irks me. I'm not, I don't want every, all my food sweet. We back to the people at Cabin One, the first one they still running. Now they in the woods, and the second two, the guy who wanted to leave everybody in the Olympics started, came back to get him. They fell in a trap. Somebody dug a hole and then um, put spikes down there, and they fell on the spikes. Well, I'm trying to see you. I can't piss right, but I know you're watching me. Here's another kid. He must have been with the other two. You know I've got that twisted urethra thing. Sorry, y'all, I done got caught up for a second. The other two kids that he killed had a third kid with him, like a chunky, fat kid. And he says, thank you. He's like real uh, uncoordinated, tripping off everything. He was using the bathroom when Mr. Jingles came up. And he, um, he said, I know y'all didn't have to take me. My mom uh, paid you to take me. He, they must have supposed to be the cool kids. And so uh, then he pulls his mask up and take a puff of his inhaler. So Mr. Jingles lets him go. Mr. Jingles trying to be nice. But the other kids. The show day's been plugged up by that day. If we pull you off, you'll probably bleed out. But the Olympic star fell and it, one of the big ones went right through his shoulder. Where is everyone? They should be here by now. Why are they booming this time of night? Why? The Boy Scout is just further away. No. I better shut it's up because I do a lot of booming myself. Hey, maybe we should just go and get help. And leave everyone here to fend for themselves. Your friends wouldn't bail on you like that. I'm not. Brooke want to leave everybody. Talking about she's going to get help. We need to get the help. police to come down here. You're right. Go. I'll wait. I'll tell the others you want for help. Thank you. The counselor act like she gave her her key. Honey, you can see your face right now. You're confused, aren't you? So Don't Brooke worry. was, she would act like she was going to let Brooke leave and go get the police, the nurse. And at first she'd say, oh, you're not going to leave your, um, your friends, are you? And she was like, no, I'm not really leaving them. I'm going to get uh, help. So the nurse. Um, act like she gave her the keys and act like she could leave. So she turned her back to open the car door. The nurse, nurse put the syringe in her neck. And she kind of faded and the commercial came on. But I was reading, like, if you Google, like, uh, the theories of what's going on in American Horror Story, like, everybody just throwing stuff out, of, out there. One of the theories that was that there's multiple, multiple killers. And the other theory, uh, well, it's like five or six theories that I read, but one of them was also that Brooke was a killer. 
So that's not saying just because the nurse got her first that she not a killer, but it's kind of looking that way. But who knew the nurse was going to be the killer? My good. Mm -mm -mm. I wonder what she did in 1970. Because she look almost the same age as um, Margaret Booth. But she black. And it wasn't other black people at the camp. I don't remember seeing. I don't know. Okay. Let's let the, I'm going to let the commercial play. I'll be right back. The commercial is still on, but I had to say this. Grill Marks, this was a waste of money. Onion rings delicious, but you know, this is like the second or third time I ordered from you guys. I ordered different things. I always order the onion rings because I love onion rings, period. And uh, that's the third strike you out. I'm not ordering from you again, not even for the onion rings because I have to have something with the onion rings. This sweet mess, I might try eating the actual bu uh, burger. But I'm tired of that. I'm tired of them and that foolishness. I'm tired. Well, Miss Chambers, you've certainly put in the work. Dartmouth's pen. I have to say, you look remarkably well rested for someone in the throes of doctoral research. But I'm sorry to tell you that you've wasted your time coming here. Benjamin Richter is a lost cause. I doubt that. Y'all. He hasn't said a word in years. Okay, this is one week ago, guys. One freaking week ago. So one week ago, the nurse, we think that she's a nurse. The lady that's supposed to be the nurse, the black lady, she's actually a doctor. So she's come to the asylum wanting to, uh, I guess, um, Study, uh, Mr. Jingles, Mr. Richter. And so uh, the the um, psychiatrist that he already killed, he killed her already in the, in part two. So don't watch. I'll put on there, don't watch this if you hadn't seen part two yet. Wow. Wow. Black shark eyes. Now, I know in our profession, we like to think there's always method behind madness. All I've been shown by Benjamin Richter is that some people are just evil. My research has shown otherwise. I recently spoke to Ted Bundy down in Florida and prior confessions to two unsolved murders from him. He wasn't aware of that. The feds wanted to keep it on the down low, but I've talked to them all. Gacy, William Bonin, AKA the Freeway Killer, Patrick Kearney, AKA the Trash Bag Killer, Robert Hansen, AKA the Butcher Baker. All their lips are sealed. I believe she lies. She knows she ain't talked to all them people. This case, has been your life for over a decade. Do you really want to go to your grave not knowing what makes that man tick? They're going to let her go in there and talk to him, too. She just says, awakening, I just mean, Mr. Jingles. To get a window into that side of him would be valuable. So maybe she the one that said, she had that set all this up, because remember in one, he had the um, news piece of the newspaper talking about Camp Redwood reopening. So how would he have gotten that? So he's almost like in a comatose state. He's, his eyes is open, he's awake, but they just I guess they just get him up and send him somewhere. He doesn't respond to anybody. So when she said awakening him, she really probably means of getting him back. She thinks that you're evil, that you were born to kill. Do you believe that? Because I don't. I don't believe in evil. I believe that while the ability to do violence exists in all people, the need to hurt, to murder over and over, needs to be activated by outside circumstances. That's what she's trying to get to. Since the mid-1970s, there's been an uptick in spree or serial killings. Why? Were there suddenly more evil men born? Or did the increased availability of pornography 
and the psychic echo of the war in Southeast Asia damaged the minds of otherwise good men. Oh, now he want to wake yeah, up, y'all. Yeah. Yeah. It's in everything nowadays. They say it's bad for you, maybe. Come on, corn, sir. Uh, He's talking now, y'all. So you can talk. I've been here locked up for 14 years. When I told them I couldn't remember killing those kids, they told me that I'd had a psychotic break, that I was evil, that I was the worst kind of human being. Irredeemable. What if I told you I don't think that's true? What if I told you that something twisted your brain and gave you no choice? So what you're saying is, maybe it isn't all my fault. I'd like to help out. Can I help you? Well, you can't do it from in here. The real you can help. She gave him the paper. She just gave him the paper. And I just find it hard to believe they left her alone with him. I, they, she, they didn't even know she had done no study. So did you even check her credentials? And still, would you leave him alone? I can't go back there. I know I would kill again. Sometimes sacrifices need to be made in the name of science. To my hands. So she's trying to force him to kill. Because he said he don't want to go back there because he'll kill again. If I could crack the code of what makes you do what you do, maybe we can begin mandatory classes in grade school. What if you could have the honor of being the world's last serial killer? on where to go that she had a new identity it's a real Rita the nurse but we're on the part she's left there as a day next day or another day it's broad daylight and she's following the lady that's in the little convertible rabbit that we thought was hers and the lady has her little uh, nursing uniform on that says Rita RN which means that she, we at the gas station now. And I'm wondering if it's the same gas station that they stopped at in part. Like the uh, nurse pulls over at the gas station and say, like, why are you following me? So she's looking at her mouth at them like, oh, I don't even know what you're talking about. And so they're talking now. They're standing outside the car. But more than likely, she going to kill. Well, we know she got to kill Rita. She ain't going to tie up and just leave her somewhere, is she? Let's see what's going to happen. This is crazy. Ladies, maybe we can convoy up the rest of the way there. It works for me. She acts like she's going, going to Camp you. Redwood to work too. If you ask me, all those murders are because of the availability of pornography and the objectification of women in our culture. That's what Ted Bundy said. So Rita supposedly going to the restroom. But she kind of look on her face is like she don't really like something wrong, but she doesn't know what's wrong. So the other lady gone, Rita come out, the real Rita come out the bathroom and get in the car and the other lady gone. So she looking for her, like, where'd she go? She probably sabotaged her car. And then when she get up the road, she gonna have to pick her up. 
I told y'all people don't like to watch this stuff with me. I'll pour She's a man even. She's in the back seat, y'all. So she, it just flashed back on her drug and Brooke, and she just sitting there smoking a cigarette. So when Brooke come to, she actually handcuffed her to the door of the rabbit. She's dragging Brooke away now. I wonder where she gonna put her. So it didn't um, show her killing the nurse. It just showed her getting up in the back seat. And it didn't show her killing Brooke. It just showed her dragging Brooke away. So, um, since she's studying serial killers, though, I can't imagine her leaving the nurse alive. But, of course, we're at the beginning of the season, so she probably won't kill Brooke since she's one of the main characters. So, just, just saying. Just saying. These commercials on these replays are longer than freaking, I think, the commercials on the real show. Chet is the Olympic guy who passed out from the pain. Everybody on the show in trouble. Ran to the camp. It was an Omega side, and her hell week was. Back. So it's hell week, so they uh, they're hazing uh, the pledges. So they have this little tiny Asian guy that they're uh, hazing, and he he can't take all that liquor. So the black guy telling the Asian guy they got to work twice as hard. Okay. And that he, uh, the trigger, like to. he embarrassing him because he can't hold all this liquor. You, and he not even half the size of the rest of the guy. Oh man, he told him he would give him 10 minutes to get his stuff together and he was so drunk he fell down the stairs. And he died. I'll take care of it. I saw it. I couldn't change the fact that Jay was dead, but I could keep us all out of trouble. And myself out of jail. I mean, this dance was Then why would he be in jail? He got himself in all this trouble. Because really he then got rid of the body. When they could have just got the, the uh, fraternity could have just gotten in trouble. He done put him in the car and gonna send him down the cliff. He woke up, so he was not dead. He was passed out. Oh, man. He was sending the car off the cliff, and the guy woke up and, and uh, blew the horn. And he couldn't stop the car from going down the cliff. I still remember his face. Eventually, I just dropped out. Which is how I ended up. Shit job at the hospital. People thought he had. So he's and, telling uh, the I other guy everything really about what happened because he think he's dead. I'm sure he's probably not dead since he's telling all of this. But I'm wondering who made this pit. Because when I see there's some big spikes down there. It's only a matter of time before they follow my watch. That's why I'm here. Yeah, my battery went dead. I just went on and cleaned up and started uh, again. He's alive. I said I thought he was already dead. 
from the first time you killed him. I said he fell! Now he mad. Oh, so now he gonna leave him again. This is the same guy that came back and got him. He wanted to leave everybody the first time. You know they gonna kill his butt. Please, I won't Please don't leave me down here. Don't leave me down here. He just keep making bad decisions. We back to the other group now. The activities directed in the front. This group just had three people. Now they want to go back and get Margaret Booth, the owner. And her crazy behind was rubbed in Richard Ramirez's face. Episode 2, so she probably an additional serial killer. Now they hear Mr. Jingle's key. Oh, that nurse not there. And then they telling the nurse to be quiet. They done came to her rescue. And her dumb ass still trying to uh, scream. This is too stupid. She fighting them to scream. They need to leave her on to Mr. Jingle. Yep, she crawl out from them like they doing. They unwrap, they unbound her, but she scared of them. She runs right into Mr. Jingle. Stupid. Just like an 80s slasher flick, she sticks the whole, like a spike down her throat as she's screaming. He threw the knife down, he didn't want to do that. This time. Oh, y'all, boat paddle. You put the end down my throat all the way through her body. And now they see that she was the real Rita RN. So now there's three people who know Rita, not the real person. Long commercial. Commercial break. Wine break. Well, they found the guy. Where's everyone else? We were attacked at the infirmary. Got me jumping at the instant. Chet was with me, but I lost him. Man, he know exactly where Chet is. In the pit you left him in. We found the real one bound and gagged in the boathouse. He just told him he left Brooke with uh, Rita, but uh, they just they telling him that Rita is not Rita. They found the real Rita. They still trying to leave people. Call the cops and meet us back at the lot. You know he gonna die. you go with him. He like Montana. He done sent Montana so she don't get hurt, but they probably gonna get hurt. But everybody came down the third episode. Oh no, Mr. Jingles here, a chair in that pit. Oh. So Mr. Jingles heard Chet, but then when the guys are actually the ones, the other two, the, uh, they ran up on him. So the one of them dropping down in there. Ray, he fell in your Ray, that's the other guy's name, the fraternity guy. He just told it that Ray left him now. He's gonna take him off the stage. That's a big thing. He's coming. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, they got Chet out. And they're going to try to run with him. they having to cover his mouth. And Mr. Jingles here now. in the pit. I bet that's that little guy. I bet that's not the real Mr. Jiggy. All they see is a mask. It was the little young guy. Dog it. Oh, Richard Ramirez just walked out. 
Ready for round two? The devil needs his due. What the hell? Way a trip, honey. He done jumped on the motorcycle and left my channel there with Richard the Night Stalker. Richard the Night Stalker. Richard Ramirez. Ray ain't about nothing. <gasps> Ray got what was coming to him, though. Mr. Jingles just knocked his head off. He stepped right out in front of that motorcycle and chopped his head off. No more, Ray. Now, instead of Richard going in for the kill since Montana's sick, see, he's going to have to take his time. Montana going to start kissing him. What is up with him? Did she say you ain't killing me today? Why the Montana just said, why hadn't you killed her yet? Talking about Brooke. She know Richard Ruben. Now see, this just did too much. It's too much. Oh my goodness. They showing the previews for next week. Everybody know each other. Oh, I forgot about the cafeteria lady. She hasn't shown her face yet. Oh, it's a lot going on, y'all. So, so Montana know uh, Richard Ramirez. It looks like they know each other well because they flash back to the aerobic studio. Um, we hadn't seen the cafeteria lady, but she's going to come back in on the next one. And then they show Richard Ramirez and Mr. Jingles talking. I didn't see anything showing, uh, the, the doctor nurse supposed to be Rita, but, um, we'll see what happens. I was going to stop watching it, but you know, I'm going to have to see what happens now because you know, when you first think about it, you say, now, they're killing everybody up. Now, how they going to get a whole season and we just on season three? But they're making it work. So, I hope you enjoyed my reaction video. I want to learn how to actually put it in the screen. So, I'll look into that and uh, I will see you hopefully tomorrow. Talk to you later.